please remain standing for our national anthem sung by Amelia Kramer, Katie Wyrick, and Jordan Zeiss. Please be seated. Distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Michigan Technological University's 2023 Spring Commencement Exercises. We also welcome those of you that are viewing online from around the globe. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Now graduates, congratulations on your latest accomplishment. This is an important milestone in your lives. It's truly a time to reflect, rejoice, and celebrate your hard work and your dedication. For most, though, the road to graduation is not traveled alone. There are many people who partnered with you on this journey. Would the parents, grandparents, spouses, children, and all other special guests in the audience please stand so we can recognize you? Graduates. Thank you for your unwavering support. You may be seated. There's another group I would also like to recognize this morning. Michigan Tech's faculty and staff are renowned for their scholarship and research. They're exceptional teachers and mentors, and most importantly, they're passionate about your education and your success. Would the faculty and staff please rise so we can recognize you as well. Please be seated. Graduates, look around. I hope you'll, you'll remember today's celebration fondly and with true appreciation for the many people who have contributed to your educational journey, including those who could not be with us today. Now on the stage assisting in today's ceremony are members of the university's board of trustees. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Chair of the board, Jeffrey Littman, board member, John Bacon, board member John Jipping, board member Matt Johnson, and board member Monique Wells. Also on the stage are Dr. Andrew Storer, our provost and senior vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Mike Mullins, university marshal, university senate president and professor, Dr. Janet Callahan, dean of the College of Engineering, Dr. Dean Johnson, dean of the College of Business, Dr. David Flashpolar, interim dean of the College of Forest Resources and Environmental Science, 
Dr. David Himmer, Dean of the College of Science and Arts. Dr. Dennis Levese, Dean of the College of Computing. Dr. Marika Siegel, Dean of the Pavlis Honors College and Associate Provost for Undergraduate Education. Dr. Sherry Stacaro, Assistant Provost for Faculty Development. U.S. Congressman Jack Bergman, representing Michigan's first district. Lieutenant Colonel Ben Zunaga, United States Air Force. Captain Paul Weiss, United States Army. Julie Freem, President and CEO of MIMU, Original Equipment Suppliers. And Britta Anderson, Vice President of the Alumni Board and Senior Engineer at Consumers Energy. Thank you for joining us. We have a tradition here at Michigan Tech of having one of our students address the fellow graduates. This year's speaker came to Michigan Tech from Shelby Township, Michigan, and will graduate today with a Bachelor of Science in Business Management. He has been one of our resident assistants for four years, two as a senior RA, and assisted fellow students as an academic success coach. During his first year as an RA, he was recognized with the Exceptional Enthusiasm as a Student Leader Award, and also received a regional award for Residential Community of the Month. In the College of Business, our speaker made the Dean's List every semester and participated in the Advanced Project Management Competition and Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. Outside of classes, he's been involved in the Pavlis Honors College, Mitch's Misfits, the Society of African American Men, and the Sexual Assault and Violence Education Club. He's also been an active volunteer the Equipment Loan Closet of the Keweenaw, Little Brothers, Friends of the Elderly, Friends of Michigan Tech Library, and Copper Country Humane Society. After graduation, he'll begin a position as an Associate Business Analyst for Auto Owners Insurance Company. And it is my pleasure to present to you our 2023 Student Commencement Speaker, Anderson Piercy. Greetings, family, friends, and fellow graduates of Michigan Technological University. We have gathered here today to celebrate passing the threshold from college student to college graduate. Over the past few years, we have grown in ways you could have never imagined. We are no longer the timid freshmen hiding in the car after a nine-hour drive. Instead, we are inspiring adults expertly equipped to navigate our professional fields. Though blizzards have tried us and all-nighters have tested us, if becoming a Uper was an exam, we've passed with flying flannel colors. <laughs> with our diplomas on the horizon, graduates, I want to remind you of the time you've spent growing in the copper country. From the first sweaty day of O week when your OTL demanded endless icebreakers to sitting in this hallowed arena, you've been taught several things. One, how to properly pronounce words like sauna and sisu. Two, how to spend 12 hours hacking at sculptures for snow to cover the details the next morning. And three, how to be kind and compassionate Huskies. Personally, I think y'all would agree there's nothing better than having a Husky in your life. When our cars break down, we have dedicated Facebook groups to help our classmates get home to their families. When the Houghton community needs us, we volunteer through Make a Difference Day or other service opportunities. And most importantly, when you are not okay, there are students and faculty alike who would gladly drop everything to help you get through it. It's not required to be kind, but y'all do it with grace. You understand the importance of community and resilience. To be a Husky is more than to have hashtag tenacity. It's to be kind with a passion, to make sure that every interaction you have leaves someone better than how you found them. It's to make a difference in your surroundings through compassion and empathy. It's also to celebrate when your community thrives, to hype up others' accomplishments as if they were your own. A win for a fellow Husky is a win for all of us. In a few hours, you will become an alum of Michigan Tech that comes with an unspoken expectation to continue being kind. Best part about it is that it's easier done than said. Check in on your relatives and help your younger siblings with their math homework. When you look around in a few weeks and find yourself missing what tech meant to you, remember that it was the community that you helped build and flourished in. Not everyone is lucky enough to go to school here. You're lucky enough to have some great stories about it too. 
Going into your new place in the great big world, don't be afraid to bring tech with you. Hold the door open, say please and thank you, and tip your waiter. Invest a minute of your time every day and see how your community changes to welcome that breath of fresh air, brought straight from some of the cleanest air on earth. Even if the change isn't immediately obvious, you'll notice the difference with enough time. There is a world waiting for Huskies like us to make it better. Now, I have to give a little shout out to the people who helped us get here. Friends and family, you've traveled so many hours to share our home with us for one last celebration. You've seen us cross bridges, borders, and parallels for pre-winter and winter semesters alike. You've watched our broomball games and helped us feel better after brutal chemistry exams. We're here because of your dedication. Thank you for your endless support of your Huskies. They are amazing friends and part of an unforgettable tech experience. Thank you as well to the incredible staff and faculty that have helped students foster their passions and find their callings. Your rigorous courses have challenged us and built us up with our foundational knowledge. You have given us research opportunities and extra credit, crucial letters of recommendation and reference checks. You fought for us as young professionals and spent countless office hours explaining intricate formulas. All of you have helped contribute to so much to Michigan Tech's being one of a kind university. Now graduates, I'd like to give you one last assignment for your academic career, I know. Friends, family, and faculty will need your help with this one. There's no points attached, but you can complete this assignment as many times as you want. The assignment is practice kindness. Cheer for every person who crosses today, even if you don't know them. This is your community celebrating one of its latest achievements. Let's make it loud. We have been kind because that's how we were raised. We are kind because we've been given the tools and passion to be. We will continue to be kind because of the people we've met and the friends we've made. Graduates, you are loved because you bring love into the world, and no matter what, I am proud of you being here with me today. I feel so grateful that I get to call y'all my graduating class. Thank you, graduates of Michigan Tech. Congratulations. Thank you, Anderson. Our commencement speaker today is Julie Freem, class of 1983. Julie graduated from Michigan Tech with a bachelor's in chemical engineering and went on to earn her MBA at Harvard Business School. In 2013, she was named president and CEO of MIMU, Original Equipment Suppliers, an association that represents automotive suppliers and champions their business interests. In this role, she represents the automotive supplier community on the Ford Supplier Council, the GM Supplier Council, and the Nissan North America Supplier Advisory Board. Additionally, she's chair of the Corwell Health's Board of Directors. Corwell Health is a $14 billion enterprise with over 60,000 employees in Michigan. In both 2016 and 21, Julie was recognized by Crane's Detroit Business as one of Michigan's most influential women. In 2015 and 2020, she was listed as one of the 100 leading women in the automotive industry by Automotive News. It is my honor to introduce our 2023 commencement speaker, Julie Freem. Thank you, President Kobeck. It is such a great honor to be with all of you today. Thank you so much. I want to start out by recognizing first the board trustees, the staff and administration, parents, friends, but most important of all, graduates. Please give yourself a round of applause for all that you have done. Congratulations on your outstanding achievement. And Anderson, your words touched my heart. I'm actually teared up. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us and making today special. And for all of you in the audience that perhaps are not alums, take those words to heart. They mean so much to all of us, not just our graduates. So I am delighted to once again 
be standing on Michigan Tech's commencement stage. As an alumna of Michigan Tech, I am proud and grateful to be celebrating my 40th anniversary of my graduation. So much has changed in the years since then. So today I have the distinct honor of sharing with you a few thoughts about my journey just as you begin yours. My life journey has been one of surprise and adventure. I am filled with gratitude for my many friends and business colleagues. I am especially grateful for my two grown children and my husband, Rob Lawrence, who is here with me today. Thank you, Rob, for being my rock as we continue our journey together. And looking back, I could not have predicted the various twists and turns of my own career. Other than attending and receiving my MBA, my career has been in the automotive industry. I have worked for vehicle manufacturers, for suppliers, and most recently for a trade association representing automotive suppliers. One of the important things these twists and turns has taught me is that success in all aspects of life requires collaboration and communication. You will always need to interact with and rely upon others. A group of people working together can accomplish so much more than one individual. I encourage each of you to foster both the personal and professional networks you have started here at Michigan Tech. Accompanying the need for communication is the important skill of adapting to change. And change, often unexpected, will be true in all aspects of your life. Your ability to adapt and be flexible is the best and perhaps the only way to prepare for change. As a student of the past few years, you have had a front row seat to tremendous global change. Living in and through a worldwide pandemic taught you what it means to have your life change overnight. And part of what enables you to adapt to changes like this is your emotional intelligence, sometimes called EQ. EQ is that ability to understand, to use, and to manage your emotions in positive ways, to relieve stress, to communicate effectively, and to empathize with others. And emotional intelligence, or EQ, is just as important as your IQ. Each of you has spent much of your early life honing your IQ. As you continue your journey, make a conscious effort to work on your EQ also. My own career is an example of why emotional intelligence is so important. In my current role, I interface with hundreds of people at events and activities. The ability to put myself in someone else's shoes, to listen and respect their position, even though I perhaps do not agree, is pivotal, pivotal to my ongoing success. And I know each of you is fully capable of shaping your personal journey in the way that makes the most sense for you. By undertaking and accomplishing the rigorous requirements of your degree here at Michigan Tech, as well as embracing and mostly enjoying the amazing Upper Peninsula winters, you have demonstrated 
that you have what it takes to succeed. So on this wonderful day, I have three suggestions for your life after graduation. I call them the three G's. Gray, goals, and give. I'll start with the first one, gray. Seems like a strange suggestion until you know a bit more about what it means. I want each of you to learn to live in the gray. Embrace ambiguity. In our fast-paced, ever-changing world, we tend to crave certainty and clarity in everything we do. We want to know what's going to happen next, and we want answers to our questions. However, a need or a demand for certainty limits your options and possibly even leads you astray. It prevents you from seeing the world in all its complexity, from exploring new opportunities, and from appreciating the beauty and the richness of the unknown and the uncertain. To embrace ambiguity means getting comfortable with not always having clear answers. It means acknowledging the world is complicated and multifaceted, and not everything can be neatly categorized or easily explained. And it means being open to different perspectives and to the possibility that there may be more than one right answer to a question. Learning to live in the gray can be difficult. It can be unsettling to not know what is going to happen next or to not have a clear answer. But I would argue that this discomfort is precisely what makes embracing ambiguity so important. As you grapple with uncertainty and complexity, you are forced to think critically and creatively. By questioning your assumptions, you may see things from a new perspective and find additional insights. And here is something else I want each of you to know. Living in the gray can actually be liberating it frees you from the constraints of black or white thinking. It lets you see the world in a more nuanced and empathetic way. It opens you to the diversity of human experience and helps you find beauty in unexpected places. My second suggestion for life after graduation is to write down your goals. Don't just think about them or talk about them with your friends. Write them down. And the G, of course, for this one is easy, goals. Writing down your goals clarifies your thinking and gets you very clear on what you want to achieve. It sharpens your focus and helps you identify the steps to take to get where you want to be. Writing down your goals increases your motivation. It is a visual reminder of what you are working toward that increases your commitment and allows you to track your progress over time. You can measure how far you've come, celebrate your accomplishments, and even, if necessary, change tack. Early in our marriage, my husband and I wrote down our goals. We determined the things we wanted to do and how we would prioritize our time, treasure, and talent. Some of our goals were simple, such as prioritizing travel with our children. As they were growing up, we've traveled with them to China, Australia, Europe, and other places. Some of our other goals were more complex, like ensuring that we saved appropriately for our retirement. These goals have guided us for many years, and we have been able to achieve most of them. I firmly believe this is because the t we took the time to agree upon them and to write them down. I encourage each of you to 
Set goals for your journey. And my third and final suggestion is to give something back. The G, of course, being give. There are plenty of ways to do this. Find a social or an environmental issue that you are passionate about. Anything from reducing plastic waste to supporting education in your community. Give that issue your time, your talent, and perhaps maybe in a little while, even a little bit of your money. Or go big and identify a market need that is aligned with your values and passion and create a business that will have an impact. Having an impact is one of the key reasons I have spent the last 10 years leading an automotive association. I genuinely want to leave the automotive industry stronger and more diverse than I found it 40 years ago. Another way I give back is by serving as the board chair of Corwell Health. Corwell Health is the parent organization of Beaumont Health in Southeast Michigan, Spectrum Health in West Michigan, and Priority Health Insurance. And I do this work because I believe all people deserve accessible, simple, and affordable health care. By applying my own time, talent, and treasure to this organization, I have the ability to help make this vision a reality, giving back to my community in the process. But giving back and making an impact also occurs in the simplest of gestures. For example, next time you are in the drive-thru getting your morning coffee, pay for the person's beverage that is behind you. You will instantly make someone else's day, and hopefully they will do the same for someone one day. You see, every person has the desire to be seen and to be heard. At every opportunity, strive to give the person in front of you your full attention. Let them know they matter, and let them know they are appreciated. People remember how you made them feel, and that is what creates a lasting impact. So my fellow Huskies, as you sit here today with your network of friends, all of you just about to become alumni, I hope you take my words to heart. First, learn to live in the gray. Second, write down those goals. And third, remember to give back. Or simply put, the three G's, gray, goals, give. And as I close, I remind you to enjoy the journey. Whether you know exactly what is next or you stand firmly in the gray, accept and cherish each step along the way. Be in the moment and be open to life as it unfolds. Thank you for the honor of speaking with you today. And once again, congratulations. I wish each of you much joy and su success. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Julie. Yes, yesterday afternoon, the university celebrated the accomplishments of nearly 300 master's and PhD students who earned their graduate degrees from Michigan Tech at a separate commencement ceremony. In honor of this occasion, the university finds it fitting to bestow an honorary doctoral degree on an alumni and friend who reflects great honor and prestige on Michigan Tech. The process begins with recommendations from an academic college, is reviewed by the University Honors and Awards Committee, and then approved by Michigan Tech Board of Trustees. 
This year's honoree was nominated by the College of Engineering. The Michigan Tech Board of Trustees unanimously voted to confer an honorary Doctor of Philosophy degree to Julie Freem. Julie, congratulations. I'd like to invite our board chair, Littman, to the podium to formally confer the degree. Julie Freem, would you join me up here? So we are pleased to recognize and honor your service to the university and to your profession. You epitomize the meaning of a Michigan Tech graduate and set a fine example for our students graduating today. Upon the recommendation of the Honor and Awards Committee and by the authority vested in me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Honorary Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights and privileges as well as the obligations and responsibilities thereto appertaining. And in witness whereof, we'll be presenting Julie with the hood. Thank you so much, President Kobach, Board of Trustees, for this amazing honor. Uh, I really am humble and uh, it just, I am so honored by this recognition. So I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart and the service that I have given over the years to Michigan Tech has truly been one of uh, service from my heart. So I am so proud of this university, of the Husky family, and I am so proud to welcome all of you today to that Husky family. So thank you. Many of you who excelled in your studies and are wearing honor cords in recognition of your accomplishments. Those of you wearing, graduating cum laude are wearing copper honor cords. Those of you graduating magna cum laude are wearing silver honor cords. And those of you graduating summa cum laude are wearing gold honor cords. In addition, those of you graduating with honors from the Pavlis Honors College are wearing medallions. Each of you can be proud of having earned this honor. Would you just please stand so we can recognize you? Congratulations. Congratulations. You can be seated. Many of our students are wearing additional cords and sashes, signifying their involvement in everything from athletics to study abroad to university and national student organizations. You may notice a few wearing red, white, and blue honor cords. They are veterans of the armed forces, and we salute their service. If there are veterans with us today graduating, would you please stand? At this time, would the ROTC candidates please rise and come forward. Michigan Tech takes great pride in its officer training programs. These graduates have not only met the rigors of earning a Michigan Tech degree, but have also fulfilled the requirements of the Reserve Officer Training Corps and will now be presented for their oath of office. Captain Paul Weiss of the United States Army will present the Army candidates. Lieutenant Colonel Ben Zunaga of the United States Air Force 
will present the Air Force candidates. Good morning. Erin Bennett, commissioning active duty as an armor officer. Her next training assignment is Fort Benning, Georgia. William Corden Bruck, a distinguished military graduate. He is commissioning active duty as an aviation officer, and his next assignment will be Fort Novacell, Alabama. Carter Maxey, a distinguished military graduate. He is commissioning active duty as an infantry officer, and his next training assignment is Fort Benning, Georgia. <laughs> Eric Vogel, a distinguished military graduate. He is commissioning as an infantry officer in the Michigan National Guard, and his next training assignment is Fort Benning, Georgia. <laughs> Tucker Whitkoff, a distinguished military graduate, is commissioning medical services at the Wisconsin National Guard, and his next training assignment is Fort Sam Houston, Texas. Second Lieutenant Anakin Anderson, United States Air Force, will interact with duty with Air Force Specialty Developmental Engineer. First assignment, Hill Air Force Base in Utah. Second Lieutenant James Behrens, United States Air Force, will interact with duty with Air Force Specialty Pilot. First assignment, Laughlin Air Force Base in Texas. Second Lieutenant Lily Bolliger, United States Air Force, will interact with duty with Air Force Specialty Intelligence. First assignment, Goodfellow Air Force Base in Texas. <laughs> Second Lieutenant Colin Daniels, United States Air Force, will interact with duty with Air Force Specialty Security Forces. First assignment, F.E. Warren Air Force Base, Wyoming. Second Lieutenant Dustin Gonzalez, United States Air Force, will interact with duty with Air Force Specialty RPA Pilot. First assignment, Joint Base San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> Second Lieutenant Nate Goodman, United States Air Force, will interact with duty with Air Force Specialty Pilot. First assignment, Columbus Air Force Base, Mississippi. Second Lieutenant Christopher Lieberman, United States Air Force, will interact with duty with Air Force Specialty Nuclear and Missile Operations. First assignment, Vandenberg Space Force Base, California. <laughs> Second Lieutenant Sidney Ogilvie, United States Air Force, will interact with duty with Air Force Specialty Nuclear and Missile Operations. First assignment, Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. <laughs> Second Lieutenant Katen Scholes, United States Air Force, Distinguished graduate, will interact with duty with Air Force Specialty Developmental Engineer. First assignment, University of Texas in Austin to earn a Master's of Science in Electrical Engineering sponsored by the Air Force Institute of Technology. <laughs> Second Lieutenant, Brendan Tinkle, United States Air Force, will inter interact with duty with Air Force Specialty Civil Engineer. First assignment, Dover Air Force Base in Delaware. <laughs> Second Lieutenant, Benjamin Tui, United States Air Force, will interact with duty with Air Force Specialty Developmental Engineer. First assignment, Kirtland Air Force Base, New Mexico. The oath of office has its roots back in the ancient Roman times, and the first modern oaths of office were given to those serving under the Continental Army in 1775. Today, all officers of the United States Uniformed Military Services swear an oath upon commissioning. Execution of the constitutional oath signifies the acceptance of their officer commission. Administering the oath office this morning is Congressman Jack Bergman, U.S. House of Representatives. He represents the first district of Michigan and serves in the U.S. House Armed Services Committee, the Budget Committee, and the Veterans Affairs Committee. He has been in office since 2017, and he retired from the U.S. Marine Corps in 2009 at the rank of Lieutenant General, or three-star. He is the highest-ranking combat veteran ever elected to Congress. Congressman Bergman. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your full name, have been 
appointed an officer in the Armed Forces of the United States, in the grade of second lieutenant, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely and without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. Congratulations on your appointment as second lieutenants in the Armed Forces of the United States of America. Dr. Andrew Storer will now present the candidates for the undergraduate degrees. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts degrees please rise? Chair Lippmann. I present the candidates for the Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts degrees in their respective fields. Upon completion of their required curricula, these candidates are hereby recommended by the faculty to receive this degree. Members of the class of 2023, upon the recommendation of the faculty and having completed your required curricula, and by the authority vested in me, I do hereby confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts in your respective courses of study, with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations. Please be seated. On behalf of the College of Business and Interdisciplinary Programs, will the candidates for the Bachelor's of Science degree in Accounting, Engineering Management, Finance, Management, Management Information Systems, Marketing, and Construction Marketing and Construction Management, please come to this platform to receive your diplomas. Presenting candidates from the College of Business and Interdisciplinary Programs, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Marco Marquez. Trent Majors. John Paul Moody, magna cum laude. Jackie Olson. Grace Riala. Ivy Stoller, summa cum laude. 
Bachelor of Science in Engineering Management, Liam McDonough. Henriette Sem, Kuma Summa Cum Laude. Mitchell Waters, Cum Laude. Bachelor of Science in Finance, Chelsea Archambault. Keegan Irva. N Nick Kaufman. Parker Saretsky. Jehari Weha. Adam Witkowski, summa cum laude. Oh. Bachelor of Science in Management, Tristan Ashbrook. Caleb Glenn. <laughs> Benjamin Lehanen, summa cum laude. Christopher Maxson. Nick Pace, cum laude. Anderson Piercy, cum laude. Elijah Sumas. Bianca Shuck. Mark Vaisledge, magna cum laude. Nick Stankovich, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Management Information Systems, Taylor Johnston. Cedric Keller, summa cum laude. Michael Lamas Mercado, cum laude. Trent Peterson. Kevin White. Christian Worley. We'll slow it down, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Marketing, Dylan Boberg. Kali Davitella. Emily Kuhn, magna cum laude. Leanne Padilla. Ryan Stafford. Christopher Daniel Woods. Bachelor of Science in Construction Management, Bill Barnhart, magna cum laude. Steel Fortress. Cotter Ramler. On behalf, of the, on behalf of the College Computing, will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Network and System Administration, Cybersecurity, Electrical Engineering Technology, Computer Science, and Software Engineering, please come to the platform to receive your diploma. Presenting candidates from the College of Computing, Department of Applied Computing, Bachelor of Science in Computer Network and System Administration, Ethan Frenza. <laughs> Justin Sulak, summa cum laude. <laughs> Bachelor of Sci Science in Cybersecurity, Nicole Andres. Nick Bergstrom. Chris Lieberman. Matthew Jeffrey, magna cum laude. 
Jason Joseph, magna cum laude. Connor Langdon. Jacob Ludwig. Kate McCory, cum laude. Andrew Martin, magna cum laude. John Slowey. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering Technology, Jared Rathburn, cum laude. Austin Sharkey. Presenting candidates from the Department of Computer Science, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Austin Sofa. Kenzie Baker, magna cum laude. Case Brophy, cum laude. Connor Cater, cum laude. Chow Yi Chen, magna cum laude. Andrew Siminski, magna cum laude. John Clausen. Brian Kahn. Maya Davis, magna cum laude. Conlon Doney. Andrew Fry, cum laude. Eric Goulet, cum, summa cum laude. Jack Grant. Devin Hall. Jack Hendrickson. David Hostetler. Will Holland. Jerry Jones. Max Jorgensen, cum laude. Austin Keen, cum laude. Jeremiah College. Michael Kulas. Nolan Manor, cum laude. Da Daniel Masker, magna cum laude. Kale McDonnell, magna cum laude. Kyle McIntyre. Justin Milliman. Yaritza Miraman, cum laude. Ava Mueller, magna cum laude. Claire Nicholas, magna cum laude. Josh Overbeek, summa cum laude. Noah Risky. Emma Smith. Michael Romero. Phoenix Zott. Joseph Roy Tehan, summa cum laude. Cooper Tyson, magna cum laude. Colin Van Delden, cum laude. Anna Vanianis, cum laude. Jared Webb. Nathan Wolf, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Software Engineering, Tyler Sean Budd. Thomas Carey. 
Benjamin Colley. Jack Hayes. Maritza Gonzalez, cum laude. Colin Knudsen. Abby Myers, summa cum laude. Patrick Philbin, cum laude. Joshua Reynolds. Quentin Ross, cum laude. Zane Smalley, summa cum laude. Amy Tian. On behalf of the College of Forest Resources and Environmental Science, will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree in Applied Ecology and Environmental Science, Forestry, Natural Resource Management, Wildlife Ecology and Management, and Wildlife Ecology and Conservation, please come to the platform to receive your diploma. Presenting candidates from the College of Forest Resources and Environmental Science, Bachelor of Science in Applied Ecology and Environmental Science, Katie Bershing, magna cum laude. Edward Chapman. August Camp, magna cum laude. Natalie Howard, summa cum laude. Cassandra Gabales. Melina Huron, summa cum laude. Jared Johnson. Emily Long. Joseph Mackay. Amanda Marcotte. Kate McGowan, cum laude. Madeline Marie Stack, cum laude. Ella Stone. Madeline Tudor Duncan, magna cum laude. Jared Way. Bachelor of Science in Forestry, Nick Blundy. Anthony Shimatero, cum laude. Caleb Dorweiler. Luke Ferzaka. Bryce Neff, cum laude. Tucker Whitkoff, cum laude. Alex Para, cum laude. Anna Pike. Maruda Sipples, magna cum laude. Megan Quant, cum laude. Chastity Winters. Colin Whitset, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Natural Resources Management, Anna Brubaker. Jordan Zyke. 
Bachelor of Science in Sustainable Bioproducts, Abby Herndon, cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Wildlife Ecology and Management, Colin Daniels. Bachelor of Science in Wildlife Ecology and Conservation, Sarah Arnold, cum laude. Jacob Brenke. Adelie Bruchaber, summa cum laude. Mitchell Chose. Jake Maynard. America Parker. Chance Spencer. Ezekiel Stark. Carly Zielinski. On behalf of the College of Sciences and Arts, will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts degrees in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, Biology Focus, Biological Sciences, Ecology and Evolutionary Biology, Human Biology, Medical Laboratory Science, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology Chemistry Focus, Chemistry, Computational Chemistry and Chemical Informatics, Pharmaceutical Chemistry, Psychology, Humanities, Communication, Culture, and Media, Scientific and Technical Communication, Exercise Science, Sports and Fitness Management, Mathematics and Computer Science, Mathematics, Statistics, Physics, Anthropology, Sustainability Science and Society, Audio Production and Technology, Sound Design, Theater and Electronic Media Performance, and Theater and Entertainment Technology. Please come to the platform to receive your diploma. Presenting candidates from the College of Sciences and Arts, Department of Biological Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, Megan Geyer, summa cum laude. Christian Holmstrom, cum laude. Dylan Norris, magna cum laude. Samantha Seifert, cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences. Shane Astrike, magna cum laude. Morgan Radke, summa cum laude. Alyssa Sarland. Bachelor of Science in Ecology and Evolutionary Biology. Jacob Bancroft. Alec Clark Brendel. Alec, Alec, sorry. <laughs> Garrett Lukasevich. Alex Lohman, summa cum laude. Brian Reeves. Tessa Tormon, summa cum laude. Madeline Webb. Woo! Bachelor of Science in Human Biology. Nathan Baylock, magna yeah! cum laude. Mackenzie Fox, summa cum laude. Jordan Jones, magna cum laude. Mary Schloss, summa cum laude. Reagan Swartz.
Aaron Bennett. Bachelor of Science in Medical Laboratory Science. Evelyn Ossenmacher. Nev Badalo, magna cum laude. Sophia Banker, magna, magna cum laude. Emma Urkula. Grace Gonzalez, summa cum laude. Jade Graham. Patrick Hoxie, summa cum laude. Elena Kriggs, magna cum laude. Kaisa Nagel. Madeline Pelisari, cum laude. Delaney Piedela, summa cum laude. Faith Prentice. Jake Valencourt, summa cum laude. Presenting candidates from the Department of Chemistry, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Connor Hall, summa cum laude. Jillian Kaisinga, cum laude. Mackenzie Monkovich. Elena Sempic, summa cum laude. Madeline Sherman, cum laude. Andrea Lynn Smith, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Walter White. <laughs> Emily Vincent. Bachelor of Science, Computational Chemistry and Chemical Informatics. Audrey Lacoste, summa cum laude. <coughs> Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Chemistry. Maria Walczyk, magna cum laude. Presenting from the Department of Cognitive and Learning Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Kaylee Blindower, cum laude. Alyssa Everett. Sarah Galon, cum laude. Kiara Hines. Abby Morley, cum laude. Samantha Walker, magna cum laude. Kelly Weeks, magna cum laude. Katherine Wyrick, magna cum laude. Associate of Arts and Humanities, Gia Harris Gudati, cum laude. Eva Hautamaki. Presenting candidates from the Department of Humanities, Bachelor of Arts, Communication, Culture, and Media. Matthew Brisson. Aiden Hawk. Bachelor of Science, Scientific and Technical Communication. Megan Cole. Rachel Dick, cum laude. Riley Powers. Colton Sitz. Presenting for the Department of Kinesiology and Integrative Physiology, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Caitlin Brady, summa cum laude. 
Brendan Kosky, magna cum laude. Jessica Lacey, cum laude. Karina Madigan, summa cum laude. Maxwell Marion, magna cum laude. Armando Motz, summa cum laude. Gracie Vangling Aveldi, summa cum laude. Connor Walsh. Mariah Wilmer, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Sports and Fitness Management. Devin Schmitz. Cody Tarnowski. Presenting for the Department of Mathematical Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. Lily Bolliger, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Science, Mathematics and Computer Science. Damian Miller, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Statistics, Jake Beeler. Maxwell James, cum laude. Leela Johnson, summa cum laude. <laughs> Christopher Adrian Larson, summa cum laude. Joe Maloney, summa cum laude. Jun Wang. Presenting for the Department of Physics, Bachelor of Science in Applied Physics. Jason Flitty, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Arts in Physics, Riley Dickert. Nick Fulsick. Bachelor of Science in Physics, Benjamin Joseph Sloma. Sydney Ogilvie, cum laude. Presenting for the Department of Social Sciences, Bachelor of Science, Anthropology. Christopher Charters, magna cum laude. Adi Hanani. Nicholas Hunt. Bachelor of Science in Social Sciences. Robert Hazen. Cheyenne Scott with an additional degree in biomedical engineering. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Sustainability Science and Society. Caitlin Black. <laughs> Sammy Borzik, cum laude. <laughs> Isabel Cervantes. Janelle Freeman. Anne Grub, with an additional degree in social sciences, summa cum laude. Ava Miller. Isadora Mitchell. Savannah Obert Pfeiffer, cum laude. Abby Pettit. Thomas Vermeesh. Presenting for the Department of Visual and Performing Arts, Bachelor of Science in Audio Production and Technology. Isabella Capanda. Alexander Knapp. Mason Waldrip. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts, Theater and Electronic Media Performance. Annika Ballitner. Ballitner. Bachelor of Science in Theater and Entertainment Tech. Bobby Disgrange. 
Gerardo Vian Vianuela. Madison Leigh Wintella, magna cum laude. On behalf of the College of Engineering, will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree in Biomedical Engineering, Chemical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Environmental Engineering, Computer Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Robotics Engineering, Engineering, Applied Geophysics, Geological Engineering, Geology, Mining Engineering, Mechanical Engineering Technology, Materials Science and Engineering, and Mechanical Engineering. Please come to the platform to receive your diploma. Presenting candidates from the College of Engineering, presenting for the Department of Biomedical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering. Benjamin Agnello. Isaiah Bengri. Cassandra Boniface, magna cum laude. Abby Bretsky, magna cum laude. Alex Carlson, cum laude. Ali Dabas, cum laude. Giovanni Diaz. Trevor Dunlap. Robert Dwyer, cum laude. Madeline English. Kenzie Garrison. Kelsey Harvath, magna cum laude. William Hagelthorne, with, who also has a degree in material science and engineering. Marley Hedela. Cole Hebert, cum laude. Jonathan Hong. Jacob Jackson, cum laude. Benjamin Johns, also with a degree in material science. Madeline Johnson. Elizabeth Keckley. Bella Canesty, cum laude. Cameron Karnowski. Kristen King. Etienne Michels, summa cum laude. Sydney Monger. Kelsey Moyer, magna cum laude. Lydia Moylan, magna cum laude. Nicholas Nimi, magna cum laude. Jayla Norcoli, with an additional degree in mechanical engineering, summa cum laude. Savannah Page, summa cum laude. Kathleen Pekenis, magna cum laude. (laughs) 
Julia Paulus, summa cum laude. William Poster. Will Real. Carter Schlentz. Catherine Schnabel. Eile Schoenborn, summa cum laude. Josette Stelmack, summa cum laude. <laughs> Elena Starl. <laughs> Lucas Stegmuller. <laughs> Francis Taylor. <laughs> Lindsay Phelan, summa cum laude. Cody Tufty. Zachary Vatter. Jennifer Wilson. Sadat Yang. Abby Yacht. Jordan Zeiss, magna cum laude. Presenting for the Department of Chemical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering. Brianna Appleton, cum laude. Mark Bailey. Noel Barwick, summa cum laude. Brooke Bates. Julia Becker, magna cum laude. Sadaya Begum. Lillian Bradley, cum laude. Max Bro. Nicholas Bussey, magna cum laude. Elena Cronin. Leanne Danen. Caleb Dykema, summa cum laude. Josiah Dykema, magna cum laude. Andrew Dykema. Ryan Downs, cum laude. Michael Durbin, summa cum laude. Josie Eddick, magna cum laude. Lauren L. Schultz. Lauren Erdman. Lena Espejo, magna cum laude. Jonah Essig. Casey Fortman, cum laude. Ramsey Fortin. Zach Geiger, magna cum laude. Cassidy Grobel, magna cum laude. Nicholas Henderson, cum laude. Janelle Homister. Lydia Jekylls, summa cum laude. Bo Jock. Grace James, magna cum laude. Samuel Kinney, magna cum laude. Chris 
Christopher Kirschke. Taylin Klepsa Ori. Amelia Kramer, summa cum laude. Justin Liakos. Pablo Lozano, cum laude. Kinley Lyons, magna cum laude. Caleb Marianas. Quincy Markey, magna cum laude. Stephen Markert, magna cum laude. Andrew Melikar, cum laude. Andrew Menard. Jack Makota. Tad Moore. Olivia Netzler. Gabrielle Ogden. Lauren Opaleski, magna cum laude. Josh Paling. <laughs> Hannah Peterson. <laughs> Bill Phillips. <laughs> Justin Popelka. <laughs> Sarah Pro. Hannah Quinn, cum laude. Benjamin Reynolds. Emerson Ross. Makalai Shower. Nicholas Scott. Dana Seiler, summa cum laude. Katie Smith, magna cum laude. Nash Smith. Riley Smith, summa cum laude. Timothy Stahowski. James Staley. John Sturm. Nathan Summers, cum laude. Christopher Taylor. Olivia Umlor, magna cum laude. Sheraton Waldeck, magna cum laude. Andrew David Ward, cum, magna cum laude. Cade Worth, summa cum laude. Alec Wong. Presenting for the Department of Civil, Environmental, and Geospatial Engineering, Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering, Nate Goodman, cum laude. Spencer Archer, magna cum laude. Emily Bergstrom. Megan Brinkler, cum laude. Sydney Bryant. Henry Campbell, summa cum laude. 
AJ Clary, cum laude. Zachary Collin, cum laude. Morgan Coolidge. Alex Coulter, magna cum laude. Robert Davies. Zach Dewar, magna cum laude. Connor Dykos, cum laude. Drew Eaton. Robin Edwards. Dylan Farron. Isaac Fong, magna cum laude. Evan Geronimi. Sam Gordon, magna cum laude. Samuel Hookwater. Lance Jose. Kiera Houston. Alea Hummel, summa cum laude. Liam Johnson, cum laude. Noah Kobal. Jonathan Mogg. Kenneth Marks. Katie McInnes, cum laude. Emma Meitler, magna cum laude. Justin Masillo. Eric Oliver, cum laude. Thomas Pastel, summa cum laude. Simon Peter. Grant Piedela. Brennan Pike. Josh Plant, cum laude. Bradley Getlinger, cum laude. Joe Roll, summa cum laude. Edward Ryboviak. Nigel Solar. John Upham. Jacob Vandry. Colin Vanderbeek. Kevin Wenjin, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Science, Environmental Engineering. Lily Alstrom, magna cum laude. Rachel Anguish, magna cum laude. Laura Bauman. Michael Burson. Braden Butes. Victoria Bouchard, cum laude. Avery Castle, magna cum laude. Luke Cook. Emma Doyle, magna cum laude. Andrew Elstrom, 
Meg na cum laude. Riley George, magna cum laude. Molly Green. Kelsey Kaufman. Josh King. Nathan Kraft. Kendra Lechek, AKA Blizzard T. Husky. Magna cum laude. <laughs> Casey Lambert. <laughs> Megan Lee, summa cum laude. Tessa Meyer, magna cum laude. Annabelle Needham, summa cum laude. Katherine Peterson. Amanda Reed. Rachel Ritter. Drew Yesment, cum laude. Bachelor of Science, Geospatial Engineering. Jocelyn Brown, magna cum laude. Presenting for the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. Jason Ackerman, summa cum laude. Peter Amat, magna cum laude. Tyler Bernie. Ryan Briggs. Reed Brinton. James Burukman. Magna cum laude. Jared Bush. Ethan Campbell. Spencer Crawford, summa cum laude. Dan Curtis, magna cum laude. Lucas Duvall, cum laude. Kevin Fogg, cum laude. Stephen Gilman, also AKA Blizzard T. Husky. <laughs> Summa cum laude. <laughs> Lily Hubbard. Ian Huff, cum laude. Arvind Kayana. Matt Kuba. Adam Krieger. Andrew Lewis, cum laude. Jason Lyons. Ray Ma. Jake Mueller, summa cum laude. Spencer Navaco. Gabriel Ochens. Enzo Palombo. Rachel Poppy. Max Reister. Yeah. 
Jacob Smith. Benjamin Steyer, summa cum laude. Alex Stockman, magna cum laude. Nico Topi. Burj Vartanian. Anthony Viola. Micah Thorson. Seth Wood, cum laude. Trent Johnson. Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, Cole Abel. Hanan Eltir, summa cum laude. Alec Amundsen. Hayden Austini Austiniak? Austini Augustiniak, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Brown. Josh Cribben, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Donahue. Tyler Feta, magna cum laude. Dylan Fewins, magna cum laude. Jenna Gamash. Gabriel Greiling. Drew Griffin. Austin Hilliker, summa cum laude. Natalie Hodge, summa cum laude. Aaron Hogue, summa cum laude. Hunter Indermill. Nick Jones, cum laude. Joshua Juris. Katen Scholz, summa cum laude. Jack Kalkman. Dylan Kangas. Sophia Crows. Byron Lobopas. Michaela Miller, magna cum laude. Andy Martin. Andrew Mentir. Austin Mullins. Austin Newen. Matthew Nimi, cum laude. Justin Norkel. Brendan Osentoski. Ryan Peckham, cum laude. Luke Purchase, magna cum laude. Trent Sorum. Carl Slazak, magna cum laude.
Carter Spouts. Ben Tui, cum laude. Will Steyer, cum laude. Johannes Struber. Andrew Tite. Eric Van Horn. Brenda Wilson, cum laude. Olivia Zinzer, magna cum laude. Patrick Westerberg. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Robotics Engineering, Andrew Friel, summa cum laude. Emma Koronen, summa cum laude. Emily Leidensack, cum laude. Aaron Weiser. Presenting for the Department of Engineering Fundamentals, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Anakin Anderson. Paige Kosmarski. Presenting for the Department of Geological and Mining, Engineering, and Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Applied Geophysics. Aiden Gabriel, cum laude. Addison Gecker, cum laude. Grace Ojala, with an additional degree in anthropology, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science, Geological Engineering, Michael Carley. Colby Carpenter. Peter Kaline. Klein. <laughs> Jared Searle. Max Stang, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Geology, Quinn Dowd. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Mining Engineering, Cole Anderson. Jake Maxson, summa cum laude. <laughs> Presenting for the Department of Manufacturing and Mechanical Engineering Technology, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering Technology. Matt Gagnon. Brendan Lakenen, cum laude. John Mayer. Mason Peterson, summa cum laude. Colin Remelong. Matthew Vongpachan. Anthony Wasek. John Waller. <laughs> Jacob Welch. Hunter Wilk, summa cum laude. Presenting for the Department of Material Science and Engineering, Bachelor of Science, Material Science and Engineering. Sophia Berlinski, summa cum laude. Ryan Cesario, magna cum laude. Ethan Chang. Mika Clark, summa cum laude. Dakota Dorner. Daniel Griffin, cum laude.
Katherine Jarvis, cum laude. Michael Kilmer, magna cum laude. Drew College. Samuel McInnes. Liam McLeod. Caleb Minazian. Gus Quigley. Evan Stafford. Henry Summers, cum laude. Joseph Tomei. Andrew Walsh. Presenting for the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Engineering Mechanics, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Griffin Abbott, cum laude. Bavia Agarwal. Russell Alby. Caitlin Allreed. Michael Ballantyne. Noah Belliot, summa cum laude. Thog Bergen. Emmett Beeler. Luke Bisher. Thomas Bolitho. Hunter Bondi, summa cum laude. Kate Bridges. Tyler Brown. Frank Brook. Misong Byun. Dante Cardinale. Matthew Carey with an additional degree in electrical engineering, cum laude. Zarvan Chinoy. James Behrens, magna cum laude. Jacob Chizek. Connor Christensen, summa cum laude. Jack Christensen. Delaney Campo, magna cum laude. Nick Consiglio. Daniel Curry. Taryn Curtis, magna cum laude. Leander Davatilla, magna cum laude. Russell Davatilla. George Derbyshire, summa cum laude. Nolan Davis. Max DeYoung. Jessica DiMartino. Margaret Dickrell. Thomas Draper, magna cum laude. Evan Drow, magna cum laude. Tanner Duncan. Robert Eichreit. 
Dustin Gonzalez, cum laude. Emma Eck. Stanley Elder, summa cum laude. Jake Everts, magna cum laude. Rachel Falls. Caitlin Feldposh, cum laude. Grant Feet, summa cum laude. Thomas Fleming, magna cum laude. Nick Foote, magna cum laude. Ryan Frost, summa cum laude. Will Galvin, magna cum laude. Brian Geiger, summa cum laude. Ellery Gim, magna cum laude. Troy Geddick, magna cum laude. Adam Glasser, magna cum laude. Jarrett Gunderson. Ethan Gutzeit, cum laude. Scott Hall, magna cum laude. Carter Maxey. Will Hartz. Charles Hazel, summa cum laude. Kyle Hintz, magna cum laude. David Hoffman, cum laude. Jacob Howarda. Jake Hosey. Ben Hauk, magna cum laude. Rocco Hutter, magna cum laude. Sam Jager, summa cum laude. Nicolo Janetta Wark, cum laude. William Janess V, cum laude. Eric Jensen, magna cum laude. Nicholas Casper. Mason Kennedy, summa cum laude. Emma King, magna cum laude. David Klein, cum laude. Caleb Klinowski. Matthew Knowles. Brendan Tinkle. Paul Kovakik. Kovakik. Is that close? <laughs> Timothy Kramer. Theo Kampula. Curtis Kidda. Kairi Lamehu, summa cum laude. Nate Learman, magna cum laude. Mandy Lepak, cum laude. Kevin Lee. Brendan Lindgren, cum laude.
Jacob Loudermilk. Parker Luce, cum laude. Megan Mahoney, magna cum laude. Ryan Mahoney. Trevor Maisland. Neva Manis, cum laude. Dane Marvin, cum laude. Kyle Mayer, magna cum laude. Gavin McBride, cum laude. Eric Vogel, magna cum laude. Hunter McGuire, magna cum laude. Ethan McKenzie, cum laude. Cal McNabb, magna cum laude. Cade Meyer, magna cum laude. Nathan Miller, cum laude. Galia Miskovich. Kaya Moore. Adam Mocha. Sean Monroe, summa cum laude. Spencer Muzial, magna cum laude. Stephanie Nimi. Robert Ostrike, cum laude. Seth Olson. Jacob Oksher. Nick Palatka, magna cum laude. Colin Pickard. Nolan Pickett, summa cum laude. Blake Piedela. Logan Piedela. Cam Pycart, magna cum laude. Jack Pluta, cum laude. Fred Podig. Alec Pominville, summa cum laude. Cyrus Popovitz. Ethan Potinski, cum laude. Max Chien, summa cum, summa cum laude. <laughs> Tyler Radovich. Paul Reisenen, cum laude. Joseph Remshak. Nicholas Reynolds. William Rivet. Nolan Rubel, magna cum laude. Bodie Selmetto. Kyle Samluck, magna cum laude. Mary Schaefer. Yeah! Matt Sheeran. Yeah! 
Gavin Sheffer. Eric Smith, magna cum laude. Jacob Smith. Leah Smith. Zach Smith, cum laude. Ethan Smythe, magna cum laude. Blake Soper. Parker Stahl. Camila Staniszewski, cum laude. Cole Sturm. Jared Thalen, magna cum laude. Kyle Thalen, cum laude. Derek Thompson. Madison Thompson. Alexander Tietzort. Stephen Turnbull, summa cum laude. Adam Tutak, magna cum laude. Giovanni Van Dyke. Mitchell Van Ooflin. Madeline Van Weeren, summa cum laude. Evan Vandermate. Robert Voss. Samuel Veliquet, magna cum laude. Kyle Watkins. Jacob Whitey, magna cum laude. Olivia Weary. Julia Westfall. Ryan Westfall. Evan Wingerter. Alexander Wachna, magna cum laude. Abby Sue Woodford, magna cum laude. Cynthia Wirtz. Emilio Zapata. Adam Zirowski, cum laude. Quite awesome experience. Graduates, now that you are alumni of this university, it's my, yeah, it's my pleasure to introduce the Vice President of the Michigan Tech Alumni Board of Directors, Britta Anderson, class of 2015, and as of yesterday, class of 2023. Britta earned her bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from Michigan Tech, and yesterday, earned the master's degree in double E from Michigan Tech. Brenda is currently a senior electrical engineer at Consumers Energy. Throughout her eight years 
career with consumers, she's held various positions in relation to planning and design of both low voltage and high voltage distribution systems. Britta also championed the institution of a domestic partner benefits and expanded parental leave benefits at consumers, which now allows all types of families to bond with new children in their lives. Britta is passionate about Michigan Tech and has served on the Alumni Board of Directors for the past five years. Please join me in welcoming Britta Anderson. Brenda. Good afternoon, graduates. Graduation is a monumental achievement. It is a closing of one chapter and a leap into the unknown. While your degree will open doors, it is your experience and tenacity as a Husky that will continue to propel you into excellence. I could, give, I could provide more accolades in my brief speech, but as you sit here, this ceremony that is undoubtedly a blur, each of you know the value and honor of being a Husky. As the Vice President of the Michigan Tech Alumni Board of Directors, I welcome you to the Husky Nation of nearly 84,000 alumni and friends. The Alumni Board acts as a unique conduit between alumni and friends, students, and the university. We strive to uphold our mission of celebrate traditions and create connections. We have been bonded together by the experience of building cardboard boats during homecoming that hopefully don't sink, by purposely running around on ice for broom ball, by building intricate snow statues for winter carnival, by braving the cold and an amount of snow that only a husky would understand, by enjoying a breaker's sunset or a crisp fall afternoon of copper country cruising, these traditions that you've participated in have created connections that will last a lifetime and some great memories to boot. In my time on the alumni board, I've had the honor to interact with alumni through the ages and hear their stories and memories of our shared traditions. We will welcome you back with open arms to share yours and create new ones for alumni reunion, homecoming, winter carnival, or whenever you feel that itch to come back to this fantastic place that will always be home in our hearts. While we, your friends and family at Michigan Tech, may be parting ways today, this town and this university will always be your home. There are plenty of opportunities to stay involved with Michigan Tech and showcase your Husky pride. Network with other alumni at local alumni events, Join your company's recruiting team. Hang your Michigan Tech flag in your office. Use a virtual Michigan Tech background. Put a Michigan Tech decal on your car. Or if you're a Michigan resident, uh, get a Michigan Tech plate. You'll be surprised at how many Huskies you'll find and the instant connections you'll foster. Wherever your journey takes you, wear your Michigan Tech colors with pride and know that you are forever a part of this wonderful Husky Nation family. Congratulations and go Huskies. Thank you, Britta. <clears throat> this class joins an accomplished alumni who've received degrees from Michigan Tech and now live in every state in many foreign countries. As this group of graduates leaves the campus, they carry with them their well-earned diplomas and our very best wishes for your every success in your chosen field. And finally, to the graduating class of 2023, you've enhanced our lives and our campus community with your talents, your intelligence, your hard work, your creativity, and your service. As you go to make your mark in the world, know that we're proud of you, we have confidence in you, and we wish the very best for you. Would the graduating class of 2023 now please stand and accept our congratulations on a job well done.